Hey everybody, it's Neil here from Post to Post. Thanks for joining me. It's Friday, it's Jersey Concept Day. Heck yeah. Now, this one's a little bit different actually. We got some designs from Hayden, which is great, but these are, this is a different set, different series. It's not our typical NHL jerseys. These are oversized. I don't know what that means. I mean, technically I kind of know what that means because I did look at one of them. It was the Nashville one, but I haven't seen any of the other ones. On the Nashville one, the logo was kind of big and onto the side. So I'm assuming that the logos are just maybe oversized, but it's different and I like different. It's always fun to kind of dive into the kind of different series. We've done city editions. We've done color rush editions, uh, you know, a bunch of different series. So I'm really looking forward to this one. I think it's going to be really interesting. And I like when designers can really think outside the box like Hayden did here. So it should be a very fun process to go through. Uh, if you can't tell already, this is going to be a reaction video. I have not seen these other than the one I mentioned. You have not seen these, so we get to react together. Now, I'm not sure if you guys know this or not, but I just released a video this week on the channel announcing a new contest where you design a jersey concept based on my brand, the Post to Post brand, and you could actually win that jersey in a physical form. Cool Hockey's hooked the channel up and hooked you guys up. Whoever wins that contest, they are going to create the jersey in their sister company, the Jersey Factory, and then ship it directly to you. So if you haven't seen that uh, video, I'd love you love it if you could go check it out. And you could also win three free templates of your choosing from sportstemplates.net. So pretty big prize there for first place. So speaking of sports templates, if you want to come up with a series just like this of 31 or 32 NHL jerseys and send in for me to review, you can go to sportstemplates.net and then use code post to post save yourself 10% and get this exact template on the site, this exact jersey template. And it has an entire uniform uh, template as well. So if you're looking to not only just design the jersey, but design the helmet, the skates, the pants, the socks, everything in the, in the uniform, as well as other sports as well. We've got soccer templates on there and football and baseball and basketball, all kinds of good stuff. I don't care what template you get if you decide to get one, if you want to create a whole set within that league, whether it's the NHL, NFL, uh, you know, MLB, whatever, and send in the whole set for me to review. That would be awesome. I would love to love to see your designs. Thank you very much for uh, for considering that. Okay, so let's get into this. Let's react to these. There are 32 in here, I believe, and this is going to be in alphabetical order as far as abbreviation. That means Anaheim's first. Ooh, that, I mean, I was expecting it to be big, hence the name oversized, but I didn't think it was actually going to be that big. That's what she said. But it, I mean, it looks ridiculous. Like it, it really does look ridiculous, but it kind of works at the same time, doesn't it? It's gonna take me a while to like just mentally and visually just get used to having these oversized logos. But if we get past the you know the, the initial shock of it being so big, and just just concentrate on the design itself, I think I think it's it's not bad. I think it kind of does work. I almost feel like, I don't know if the NHL would actually do this series, but it would be cool if every team did this series for like a like a warm-up jersey or a practice jersey, but then put it on sale. I think people would buy it. I think I would. So I like I like Hayden's idea here of going through this, or sorry, PGH Concepts. So good start, actually. Like the initial shock is like, whoa, but good start. Okay, next up is uh, Arizona. Oh, so not off to the side here, big. <laughs> Wow, that thing is thick. Wow. It looks like a big orange that you just started to peel. Oh, it's interesting. Like, that doesn't, I know it's Arizona. It doesn't scream Arizona to me, though. I kind of want to see some more of the branding, whether it's the Coyote or whether it's the Kachina pattern or something on here. So, not bad. Definitely, I like the first one more than the Anaheim one. Next up is Boston. Okay, so this one, hey, this works. Yeah, that logo is absolutely ridiculously massive. It is integrated so well with the stripes on the arms. It doesn't really feel that oversized. And we've got the meth bear on the shoulders there. As as kind of bold as these designs are in this whole entire series is, is obviously, this is kind of plausible. I really like this design. This one's probably my, my favorite so far. The integration between the stripes and the logo itself is, is fantastic. Next up, Buffalo. Oh, he's got the saber actually splitting the color between the yellow and the blue here. Never, I was never a big fan of the actual, that logo, the Buffalo logo there on the front in the textual form. That number along the left, which is, I guess, they're, sorry, the right sleeve being yellow, but the, kind of coming down onto the yellow. It's a little hard to see, so I don't know if that would have to be white or blue. I'm not sure. Interesting design. Not, not my favorite. It does remind me, this one more so a practice jersey than anything. Next up. Carolina, 
kind of changed the logo to expand into the rest of the jersey, which was in the idea. Oh, having off to the side there, I guess that kind of shows it like the hurricane like sweeping through a little bit, which is obviously not a, a great thing considering what's going on in the, in the States right now with the flooding in New York and, and down in Louisiana and whatnot. Uh, but, hmm, not bad. It's definitely not my favorite though. Next, Columbus. Look at that cannon. That cannon is huge. Again, this kind of feels like a practice jersey for me. I like his overall design though, the way that he has the shoulders coming down into the arm to turn into kind of like that chevron shape at the bottom, but then stop it, but at the same angle and bleed off into that lighter blue, still retaining the pinstripes coming down like they do now, obviously a different color using that off-white from their alternate jersey. Uh, but that can in the middle, I know it's the oversized series, but I would really like really like to see this, this jersey design in a normal in a normal jersey, like put the actual cannon logo on there or the primary logo or something. I'd be very curious to see this redone just for a normal concept, but uh, yeah, not bad. Next, uh, Calgary. <laughs> no, this <laughs> this one doesn't work for me. That is, uh, no, this one doesn't work for me. I don't think that's I don't think that's realistic. And some of these are I think pretty kind of realistic, but not this one. The shoulders are great. The stripes on the arms are fine. But that, uh, no, the fire in the middle, that's that's not doing it for me. Next, uh, Chicago. You know what? This is not bad. Love that he implemented all those colors into the stripes there. He put the stars in there, which is which is great. Shoulder patch is perfect, although one looks smaller than the other and not positioned properly. Uh, so I might need to fix that. Uh, but the rest, hmm. This has potential. This one has potential. Next up, Colorado. Oh, that kind of works. So he's pulled a bit of the bottom of the actual Avalanche logo where that puck is and put it at the bottom of the jersey. I will say that the gray stripe feels a little out of place though. I think maybe it's a little bit too thick. It's in the logo and it's on the neck and it's outlined in the numbers, but it just feels like it doesn't blend with the rest of the jersey. I think maybe because it's so thick. So not too bad. Um, I, uh, I guess, yeah, if you're gonna put the graphic at the bottom of the jersey like that, I guess you can't put the actual logo on top of that would be too redundant. So you have to go with the alternate logo, the C or the C in the, in the triangle. So not bad, definitely not the, the best one that so far though. Okay, next up, Dallas. Oh, it's kind of like the uh, the alternate, the neon the neon jersey, the one like everyone thinks cool is in the dark. It feels like a stadium series jersey. Something like this might work for a stadium series jersey, but they'd have to play the right team. Dallas can do it, because I think, I think they light up a lot of their buildings, or at least one of their buildings at night in green. So I get that kind of nighttime, like neon. I think you could, I think Dallas could play against probably uh, Vegas for sure. You know, the strip in the, in the lights, probably Tampa Bay or Florida as well, specifically Florida with the Miami Vice vibes. But if you think about kind of like a nightlife cities coming together and based on this jersey, I could see them kind of facing off with a, another bold design like this, whether it was Miami or uh, Florida or whatever with a jersey like this, but obviously not exactly like this. I'm getting stadium series vibes from this. It's as a regular jersey, I don't know, but stadium series. On to something here. Next up is Detroit. Ooh, I don't like that logo. Uh, it doesn't. I know what it is. Obviously, everyone knows it's the wheel, but because I can't see the rest, I can't. I can't see the wing, and I can't see the left of the tire or inner tire. It looks like one of these that just spiral inward like this. It loses me because of that but I kind of like the rest of the jersey design, kind of like the, the one, uh, I think it was the Columbus one. The overall way that the jersey is designed other than the middle, how it has the blocked off here for the number, how it's black and not red as the primary color. If the Detroit Red Wings were going with a two-tone jersey, this is a very nice design to kind of do it in black like that. So hmm, not bad from that perspective. Okay, next up, the Edmonton Oilers. Okay, I'm kind of getting stadium series vibes from this as well. Uh, the left-hand side of the jersey, there's a piece of black. I just I just don't think he filled that in to match the other side. But the logo on the shoulder looks great. I love the neck and the collar, laces in there. Having it split with that logo that some people like, I like it. I think this works. I mean, maybe not for a regular jersey, but for a stadium series or specialty jersey for sure. Uh, yeah, definitely uh, probably top five so far. Okay, next up, Flor <laughs> Florida. I mean, come on. This is amazing. This is... This is great. A little bit redundant because we've got the same logo on the jersey three times, on the shoulders twice, and in the middle big. But this is fantastic. It, basically any Miami Vice themed Florida Panther jersey, I'm going to like. That's just how it is. Next up, the LA Kings and the Burger King. Oh, 
I don't know. It's, ooh, this is one of those jerseys that I think a lot of people are either gonna love it or hate it. And and us people, I'm gonna put myself in there. Us people right in the middle of like, I don't know, is gonna be very thin. I, I got a gut feeling this is a love it or hate it situation. Let me know down in the comments how you feel about this one. Do you love it, do you hate it? I don't know, I don't know what way to go. I'm kind of stuck in the middle here, but I can just see a lot of people being like, oh my God, that is amazing, I love it. And I can see people going, that is ridiculous. Next up, Minnesota. Ooh, kind of reverse retro inspired in a way. I see the Minnesota North Stars in here, but I kind of see the Minnesota Wild too. I like the arms a lot. The shoulders bleeding down into the arms all the way down to get those trees in the bottom of the sleeves. I think that's fantastic. I really like that. The middle of the jersey, having those trees, I don't like that. I know it's the oversized series, so it makes sense for the series, but Again, another one of, the, one of those jerseys that maybe has potential for a different jersey and with something else in the middle. Next is Montreal. Ooh, off to the side. It feels a little empty up top. It's so weighted to the bottom because of the swooping stripe and the change of color and the logo. It feels very weighted. And it's also like the stripe, the striping or the, the, you know, the change in color happens at different points in the arm and it's lower on the side where the logo is so it's almost like the logo physically has weight and it's pushing down on that side which makes the other side kind of come up so even for that reason it just feels very weighted even from like from a perspective so i think this i think this needs shoulder patches to kind of balance it out a little bit interesting design i don't necessarily love it though next up new joyzy i don't mind the middle i actually kind of like the middle i think it's the arms i don't like and I don't know if it's the striping where the numbers there are right on the elbow or if it's this section up here where the numbers would typically be. I'm wondering if that was red, if it would look better. I think that's my decision, yeah. Make this section red, and I'd like to kind of see this jersey again, but uh, I actually kind of like the middle there. Next up is Nashville. Okay, so this is one that I've already seen. I do like this jersey. It does have that Stadium Series vibes, the numbers on the shoulder specifically, that screams Stadium Series to me. And uh, just kind of a simplistic middle. You've got the, some striping in there, which isn't crazy modern or anything, but you got the logo in there as well, or a version of, of their logo that they use. And then the uh, NSH there for Nashville. So I think this is a plausible jersey, and uh, not my favorite so far in the bunch, but I do like it. Next is the Islanders. And look at the big fisherman. I mean, <laughs> how do you not like that? Like, that's awesome. Missing the waves a little bit, though. I kind of wish we were some wave action going on in the in the bottom, hashtag wave action. Yeah, I mean, it's the fisherman, I can't not like it. Next, the Rangers. That logo itself spans the entire jersey already. The R-A-N-G-E-R-S goes from top to bottom already on the jersey, so it's already, you could, you could consider it to be oversized a little bit. So how do you make that bigger? I guess, I guess this is what you do. I don't think I like the change in angled stripe. So you got very horizontal striping on the arms and then very uh, slant is striping in the middle that just messes with my brain a little bit too much it also kind of looks like a wrestling belt in a way i like the liberty on the on the shoulders but uh yeah not my favorite so far next up is ottawa i mean it kind of looks like their current brand doesn't it like they just came out with that new home jersey which is if that logo was just kind of removed very similar but then you slap the the big logo on there so it does match their brand in a way uh, i like the the shoulders for sure uh, the numbers may be a little bit hard to see there, but overall, having that texture within the stripe that kind of come that is pulled from the logo itself, not bad. Yeah, this is definitely one of the better ones in my opinion. Next up is Philadelphia. I decided to wear Philadelphia today. This is interesting, and not in a good way, not in a bad way. Just um, I think this is another one of those ones that screams Stadium Series for me, and I think I'm being influenced by the numbers on the shoulders. I really like when teams do that. It's, it's one of my favorite things in, in hockey jerseys is when they, the team actually decides to put the numbers on the shoulders. I, and I have no specific reason why. I think maybe just because it's rare and different. And I think it looks good here. This jersey would take a, a long time to get used to, though. And I'm, I'm trying to picture what the back of this jersey would look like. Would the logo kind of also, like when it comes around the arm, would it go around as well and into the, into the back? Or would it stop like halfway here? So I'm trying to picture how this jersey would look from an angle. But uh, it's not bad, not bad at all. Next up is Pittsburgh. Oh, this the mirrored striping in the middle that goes to the arm. I don't think that's the problem. I think it's the neck. I think I would like to have that all be black and just remove, I think it's too much weight up top. Next up, 
is the Seattle Kraken. That is, that's interesting. The neck is nice, the two shades there of blue, and the pinstripe that comes comes down, that's nice as well. I like that a lot. Reminds me a little bit of Columbus, reminds me a little bit of, um, of the Winnipeg Jets slightly, having it come down and that stripe kind of stops halfway through. I love the laces, not bad, not bad at all. Next up is the San Jose Sharks. Kind of a stealth take. Got some, some more green and some more orange in there, but still, this is a pretty stealthy jersey just because of the way that the logo is done in the middle. This works for me. It's not uh, it's not my favorite so far, but I do like it. Next up is, oh, wow, St. Louis. Oh, this is an interesting one, and I don't even like yellow jerseys that much. Man, I really like this a lot. I like this a lot. I don't like the blue in the, in the bottom middle, though. I would rem I would remove that. Just make it all yellow, I think, which is you know untypical of my normal opinion. But I am digging this jersey. The neck, uh, I'm not sure about the neck. This is, oh man, this is a really, really interesting jersey. I could absolutely see something like this happening. Even if it wasn't yellow, if this was white instead of yellow, it would be really, really interesting. Okay, next up. The Tampa Bay Lightning. Oh, an entire split from the bolt. Love to see the black in there. Same shoulder patch, inverse colors. It's kind of neat. Wrong size on both though. They're, uh, they're different sizes. Not bad. Don't love it. Don't hate it. Next is the Toronto Maple Leafs. Ooh, the skyline that's represented in the arms and in the middle. I would not put the CN Tower in the middle though, like that big giant point coming up from that downstairs region. That's always awkward to kind of put that there in my opinion, but I love the colors. Not having any blue in there, but still using a color that's kind of in other brands and sports sports teams around the, the Toronto area. Drake would love this jersey. Uh, this has a lot of potential, actually. I think this, it kind of looks like maple syrup as well, which is, which is very Canadian. So yeah, I like this. Maybe a shoulder patch. Yeah, I like it. Good job. Good job on this one. Next is Vancouver. Ooh, the gradient. The gradient's in there. Again, shoulder patches, different sizing and placement. Man, this is actually really good. I think I've removed the bottom section that's, that's, you know, specifically colored a certain way. I think I would just remove it and let that gradient flow from the shoulders down into the blue all the way down. Uh, this is good. This is, that's a, that's a really interesting surprise. I was, I was wondering what he was going to do for Vancouver. Cool. Next up, the Vegas Golden Knights. I mean, maybe I shouldn't. I was going to say that their alternate logo is more popular than their primary logo. I don't know if that's actually true or not. I, I feel like it is, but hey, poll time. Let, if you have a couple minutes, please let me know down in the comment section. Do you like the primary Vegas Golden Knights logo, the one that's on the front, or do you like the alternate logo, which is kind of in, the, in here that you see on their shoulders? Would love to kind of tally a definitive answer from my viewers on that. I prefer the alternate logo. I, I guess I felt like most people did, but maybe I'm wrong. We'll see it in the comment section here in a couple of days after the video. This is nice. Uh, the I think that's hard. To, it's hard to do the gold because right now that looks like really muddy. But if that was the gold fleck texture, I think I would like this a, a, a lot more. I, I would even say that this is better, better than the reverse retro. Next is the Winnipeg Jets. That is amazing. It kind of looks like a hot dog a little bit, <laughs> but it, it's not bad. I love the striping. I love the neck. I love the shoulder patches. I like the trail behind the jet. Again, maybe a stadium series jersey. Moving on to the last one, I think, which is Washington. Ooh, those shoulders are fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. Really, really like them a lot. Like the striping on the arm a lot. Do not like the thing in the middle. It Because it's rounded like that where the belly would be and has also the protruding thing coming up, it's just a very awkward placement. It makes it look like a big, like low-hanging gut, but also, uh, you know what, kind of coming up. So... Yeah, this would be a hard one to do. I'm not sure what you'd do. You'd have, you might have to go the Screaming Eagle Road and make it just ridiculously big or something. I'm not sure what you'd do, but I I personally don't like that uh, decision here for the middle. But the shoulders and the shoulder patch, that's amazing. And I typically don't like rounded shoulders like that. I'm the type of guy who likes the squared off shoulders, kind of like how New Jersey does it. Straight across, straight back, that's my jam. But right now, that's my jam. I like those shoulders. Okay, I'm going to pick a favorite here. Give me a couple minutes. I got to go with Boston, guys. Just the way that he took that logo and implemented it in with the stripes and just had that relationship come from the arms into the middle of the jersey, into the primary logo. Fantastic. 
The logo, the uh, shoulder patch, the meth bear looks amazing up there. Matches the rest of the jersey. This is perfect for their brand. So I think he knocked this one out of the park. This is fantastic. I really wanted to choose some of the other ones just based on potential. Like I felt like the Columbus one had a lot of potential, not necessarily for an oversized series or jersey in this oversized series. And there's another one as well, but just like a general jersey with an actual, like I'd like to see these concepts again, or some of those ones with a normal logo. I think those would be some really, really strong regular jersey concepts. But I, I realized that, well, I can't really choose those because I'm choosing the best from the oversized series. So I got to choose Boston. Like this one was, to me, by far um, the, the best one in the, in the series. But what, I would love to know your thoughts. Of all the jerseys that we looked at today, what was your favorite? What was your least favorite? If you have any feedback for Hayden, I'm sure that you would love to see that down below in the, in the comment section. So please leave your feedback constructively. Obviously, don't be rude. Be constructive and be helpful. That's really important for the design community. So thanks for watching, guys. I appreciate you. Hope you can hit the subscribe button down below to catch me here every single Friday for Jersey Comments concept videos exactly like this. Have a great weekend, and I'll talk to you soon. Adios.